Okay, so that mission failed to load, so we're going to jump right in and go after it again. Hostile insertion, negotiate, full salvage. There we are, let's get this sucker done. Huh, this is kind of a deja vu. Weren't we just here? What the hell? Oh well. Enemy detected. Receiving you. Thought we were facing vehicles before. Oh well, what do we do, eh? I copy. Huh, that's a lot of mechs. Hmm. So four lights, medium and two heavies so far. I await your command. On the way. So once again, let's try and do what we did last time. We're gonna take these guys out first if we can. Use this area to fall back into. They definitely have better vision, so there's not much we can do about that. Yeah. What we can do, though, is get ourselves into a position Confirmed. where next turn we can put some heavy smack down on these guys. Alright, let's see what they do. No recover all you want, man. You can't hit that without evasion. Nothing's gonna help you. Oh, here comes our first victim. What do we got here? Piranha. Ooh. I think we got a bunch of Piranha pieces already. Another piranha? Nope. Locust. Turning us back to us. For all that for 11 damage, eh? Dude. Well, he's got good back armor, though. Not that it'll stand up to an arrow system, but still. Another locust. I think they're just trying to make me unstable. This is probably a good tactic. Except, you know, the horror that's actually behind them now. That's reserve pylon, you don't need to move. Holding for the right opportunity. Yep. Hmm. I was a little close there. Huh. What's up with the arrow system now? Oh, the minimum range must be really short. Sure is. Okay, what's... 760... 625... Yeah, we might be able to smash through this guy. Let's just back it up. Roger. Let's go after this guy. Fire. Let her rip. Oh, you kidding me? Wow. Targeting systems janky. Yeah, they're janky, all right. I think you're janky. Okay, what's the 60T here?
Yeah, it's all right. So we definitely need some heavy suppression fire on this locust. Wow. Spreading it around, eh, buddy? That's all right. That's all right. How's that for kill range? We gotta make sure these guys are gone from this from this uh, place of the map. So let's make sure we do that. That figures. That guy didn't even know what hit him. He ran over him, head butted, and then he just that was it. He was just gone. I don't even know what happened, man. I don't even know what happened. He's alive one minute and dead the next. How much armor does this guy have? Same as the other guy. So, yeah. Let's uh, get rid of these guys. Wow, oh, that was terrible. At least he's not... Uh, at least he's completely unexposed here. It's a lot of missiles. That's probably the guy that, uh, or the same mech that attacked us before with the uh, Naga. I think it was a um, Ryokin. It wasn't a Ryokin. It was something like that, though. With uh, like six LRM 15s or something. Pylon will be going before the 60 tonner, so let's move over here. See what we can do. Nice hit. Okay, got the leg. Mad Dog. We got Mad Dog parts. All right, let's see what they do next here. Two light guys that can move. Mm-hmm. He's gonna run away now. Or, yes he is, okay. I thought for a second there he was just going to stand there. Be like, dude, that's a mistake. Not that I care, but totally a mistake. Ready for orders. Um, we could work on these guys, but we want to start taking this guy on. We want to have maximum evasion stuff too, so I'm going to work on this guy. On my way. Nice. Two, one more arm hit. Ugh. I think that was a torso hit there. Yeah. Yeah, thanks for coming out. What do you need? do this and we're going to um, vigilance because I don't want to be unstable when I was standing here and let's see if we can remove this guy and fire so this is certainly a different battle than the um, last one with the vehicles it's a much more free flowing battle
Sorry, Mr. Mad Dog. We're backing up. We hear you loud and clear. Plus, I'm not liking those missiles back there. Ooh. Decided to overheat yourself, did you? Nope. Right here. On my way. Just gonna walk it over. Targeting the locust, fire everything. Ah, knockdown, nice. Okay. Now, where do we hit this guy? Torso hit, alright. Guess who's getting a bunch of dead fire ammo? Okay, went with indirect fire. It's kind of a benefit to us. But we gotta push that guy. I was hoping to have more of these light mechs killed over here by now, but it uh, didn't work out that way, unfortunately. But maybe the Zeus can take out both of these two guys here in a second. That's all you've got. And the Mad Dog should go down. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, we're gonna move over here. Yeah, we're gonna multi-target here and here. Um, B will take the lerms and the mediums, and A will take the small laser and the AC-20. Wow, he's still going. Yeah, there we go. So that guy's cleared. See, these locusts, man, these clan locusts, just have so much armor. Ooh. Is that an Ultra 10? Or 20? Ultra 10. Be nice to be able to get that. Orders. Yeah. Coordinates received. Gonna let that locust get up. Oh, you missed with the wrecking balls, damn it. Negative damage. Repeat. Negative Wanted to damage. knock him down. I was gonna thinking about doing a um offensive push on the locust just to keep him down, but uh I think it's fine. He's gotta get up, he's gonna have a hard time to hit, then we're just gonna kill him. We're hidden behind the wall here. We're just going to walk over. Target this guy. Yeah, fire both. Yeah. Badass. <laughs> she actually said it too. <laughs> Alright, that guy's down. I'm really, I'm kind of sad that that last, uh, version of this. We got stuck at the end there. It was kind of a nice battle. It was nice and clean, which is why I kept the recording. Normally I would just start over again, but it was a nice clean battle. It was a good example of a good way to deal with the clans. Especially if you get stuck on the map, you can see how the terrain is very much this way, right? It's very much lengthwise, so you can use these alleyways here and set up and fire down the alleyways if you get a chance to do that. And the same thing kind of this way. There's kind of alleyways that you can shoot down, right? while keeping your flanks protected. So I'm ready. Just my two my two cents worth, my two C bills worth. Alright, so we're gonna multi-target this out. We've got this guy over here. And this guy, where are you? Right here. There we go. And let's take off one medium laser. Put the other medium lasers to B and fire. Multiple targets Okay, that guy's gone. Three nice hits. And he bailed out. Okay, so we're down to four now. Four on four. Unless they've only got three here. That guy's got to come in and have a look. 
Um, we're going to push this. We got a turn. I'm not going to waste it. Especially when you got a Nova Cat here with like six LRM 15s. So this guy is 70 tons, correct? Correct. So we're going to do an offensive push on him. Um, going to try for where's his LRMs here? Torsos, right? One, two, and then the arms, right? Two in each arm. ER, medium. Yeah. So let's go after the arm. 48%. Let's see if we can take the arm. Nope. Yeah, it's an okay start. But now we pushed him back a turn, so all our three heavies can go before our two heavies can go before him. Good to go. We want to get ourselves into a position here where we can strike out and attack. On it. So I really hope this isn't like a hundred ton stone rhino again. I don't know how we get around that. Okay, so once again, using alleyways, depending on how far we can get over with Hickory, might be able to get to a point now. Nah, I was hoping we could get to a point where this guy wouldn't be able to see us, but it's not going to happen there. Got it. Let's look this guy right in the face when we shoot him with the arrow system. Yeah, we're just going to fire. Just want to make sure we hit. Okay, some good stability. I'm your spaniel. Okay, it, getting up here. Gonna leave the mediums off for this. And fire the rest. Okay, nice. He's moving in, man. He's going to split fire with those, probably. Yep. Bad move, but sure. Spread it around, buddy. Spread it around. Oh, yeah. We got one turn till we got our uh, thing back, but we're going to do a called shot on him. Um, 93, 84. Let's try for a torso shot and dump everything into him. Yeah. It's a nice try. Okay, Pylon can't see that guy. But... I know we were working on getting a uh, clear shot on that guy, but I think... I want to push this guy back a turn. And we'll fire. Firing on target. So we can have both of our heavies go before him. Okay, what's that Phoenix Hawk going to do now? Cooling off, most likely. Okay, Hickory, can we get around to the side here? We can't. Just not that fast. Waiting for orders. But you can. Heading out. Full speed. All right, getting in close. Going to dump everything into the side of this guy. 
So hopefully we make him totally unstable. We can knock him down next turn. Or at least pull that one arm off. Arm, torso, leg. Nice. Pilot's one injury. Second injury going down. Now we're going to target his leg. Standing by. You cannot get in close, so let's walk you back to here. And I'm going to go after the other leg. And fire. Oh, he bailed out. Nice. That's even better. Now, how do we want to challenge these guys? Full That's a heavy guy back there. That's our target right here. And just gonna fire. I know we're probably gonna lose the uh, Ultra 10, but it's better to have it off the board and not worry about it. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. Yeah, get in closer. Come on, closer. You know you want to. You want Pylon to come over and say hi to you. That's what you want. That's how close you want to be. Okay, jump in, Phoenix Hawk. Gonna reserve. Where are you going? You chicken. Gotta move more than that, though. Wow. Okay. Waiting for orders. How close can you get? That's pretty good. Roger. Ah, oh, man, I love the... Tr they did such a good job with this, uh, with this game. Can It's got just enough realism, you know, just enough scenery. The mechs work really well, close-ups and distance play. It's just, it's just so much like a board game. Aye, aye. All right, um, let's give that Phoenix Hawk some justice. Yeah, man. Oh, let's do this. Even better. Oh, are you kidding me? Negative damage. Really? Yes, Commander. I saw that. Move order received. Let's just go all out in the Phoenix Hawk. I don't think we're gonna get a good chance like this again. I think that was a head hit. It was. Ooh, okay. Let's see if we can plink him in the head. Come on. <sighs> Phoenix Hawk's gonna get knocked down here in a second. Yes, Commander. So I don't know what it is with this last Burn. mech back here. But if this um hate I'm hating that, that we didn't get any salvage out that last mission, but if we cannot get this one to work at the end of this mission, um, then I'm not going to bother taking it again. But at least you got two good episodes of fighting versus clans, anyway. I'm here. All right. Let's see what happens. Nope. Let's cool off a bit. Gonna shoot at this guy. Try for a headshot. Let's leave these off. 
And these off. We're just going to fire the small right, small weapons here. Ah. Well. Not much you can do about that. Ah, uh, we better move. That guy's going to shoot us, I think. And we'll fire everything on this guy. Man, these, um... Dead fire missiles that I think are more deadly than the AC-20. I mean, don't get me wrong, I like the AC-20, but um, okay, he didn't go. Standing by. That's concerning me. No shooting, just running. Oh, no, shoot too, please. Okay, Mad Dog A. Okay, so before we do anything here, I'm gonna save the game. Why can't I save? Oh, because I have to shoot, probably. No. Yeah. Let's just shoot. Target lock on enemy six. Okay, now I can probably save. Okay. Here we go. Okay, now let's see what we can do here. Guy's just standing here. Fire See if we can take his head clean off. Or we could just shoot him aye, aye. in a place that's absolutely the farthest from his head, like his legs. That works. Let's just take a sh See if we can headshot him from here. Wow, two more misses. Uh huh. She's just sad that we didn't get this last mission. Let's just shoot him. I like them apples. Waiting for orders. Um. So we can't actually... You know what it is? He's standing on a rock. So he can't move. And I can't melee him. That is really interesting. On my way. Which doesn't make any sense as to why... I couldn't kill him last time. You know what? Okay, he's still got... Alright, this might work. Yeah, that's the reason why he can't move, is he's stuck on the uh, rock there. He can't, he can't actually walk anywhere, so if the mech that spawns there doesn't have jump jets, Standing by. he's screwed. On my way. <laughs> oh my god, I just sneezed. All right, so we're going to target. I don't want to do too much damage to this guy. This guy. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, so we're going to go after a leg shot here. Okay, Just the thunderbolt. Here. See if we can take his leg. And... Got past the armor. Okay. We were shooting for his left leg. And we got the farthest away, the right arm. It seems to be... <sighs> I'm just going to stay quiet because, like, I don't even know what to say anymore. I don't think it has anything to do with the game. I just think it's RNG. Roger that. Okay, we got the one leg, I think. A critical hit. Okay. We're going to target the other leg this turn. You, you just turn away from me. 
I'm not going to shoot you in the back. I want your leg, buddy. Leg. All right, so how much has he got left in his leg here? 68. Probably kill him with that thing. God, these LRM-20s are going to kill him too. 90, 70. Let's Warlord it. Go after the leg and fire. See what happens. <sighs> okay. We get him on pilot wound wounds here. I think he's got one more left. Uh, two more left. Yeah. Standing by. What do you think, buddy? I think you gotta move. Got it. They want the wrecking balls to be shooting. Okay, he's got forty-one in the leg. Maybe we get it. Nope. He's panicking. Okay, this is a tough one. We should be able to... That's the other side, though. Um, you're not going to be able to get it. You might. No, we can't see the other leg. But, if we torso him, here, 27 left, let's try with a medium. Well, these things are doing 10 damage each. Let's just try with an LB2X and go for the torso. I'll just do an offensive push. LB2X, torso hit, fire. Okay, so that's the torso. Does it knock him down? Ah, we destroyed his engine. Crap. Oh well, we tried. Mission successful. Alright guys, well that finished up pretty well. 120,000. Not bad. I mean, it's more. we're here more for salvage. That should easily... Well, that'll probably cover what our damages were. We didn't take too much damage overall, which is good. And lots of parts. We could finish up a Locust, but do we really want to? No, of course not. Now, I know we have Mad Dog parts, but I don't know how many. So, I'm hesitant to take anything, so we'll just leave it for now. Uh, but let's see what we got down here. A couple of... Uh, well, we got one ER large. Um, I love these clan light machine guns, just because of the weight. Uh, yeah, it's still really... has to be really close. LRM-15s, which are nice. Medium pulses... SRM sixes. These are like one and a half ton each. That would be that would make for a nice short range build on a missile mech. Um, Case two clan endo steel, clan endo steel, clan XL engines. Three hundred thirty engine, gyro stability, sure footing, grants entrench when walking, minus ten stability damage taken. That's kind of nice too. Um, XL gyros, we got like four of, right? Right. And how many clan engines do we have? We've got one. And when do we take two of these? Because we can always sell them, right? Clan art, we don't need the Artemis. Slick Sweet, we don't need. Any special ammo down here? Yeah. Artemis 4 ammo, but we've got that already. Um, ECM, clan, oh, just a regular ECM, sorry. Hmm. I don't know, I'm liking these ER large lasers, 4 tons, 60 damage, 35 heat. So let's go with this today. We're trying to get our, our next, um, uh, beta pod up and running here. So we're going to need to sell a couple of these, I think. That's why I'm taking them. Because these things are like, you know, 7.5 million C-bills each. And the bonus about these is like, it gives you like almost a million C-bills when you sell them. So let's confirm this. 
So one, two Mad Dog parts, Nova Cap part, Phoenix Hawk part, one, two, three Piranha parts, which gives us a Piranha now. Air Mac 2C, Machine Gun, SRM6, ah, oh well. We didn't do as well as I thought we would. All right, there's the Piranha. Diamond Shark Piranha, nice. Improved shooting, yeah, well. Not that we're gonna use it, 100,000, so we knew that we was gonna cover our damages, so not bad. We made about, I don't know, what, 20,000 off that, plus those engines, so not bad at all. Let's have a look at our times here to return stuff. Um, yeah, not so bad. We still have a couple of missions we can pull off here. Um, but first, before we do that, how many days we have left before the financial report? 19. We got plenty of time. So let's go um, to the store and let's sell those two XL engines that we just picked up. Yeah, just go here. And where are you here? We got lots of fusion cores too that we don't need. Like plenty of 200s, 175s. Some of some of the smaller ones down here. Um, let's sell a 225. Sell a 275. Yeah, we'll leave it at that, I think. Since we're not using jump jets, just just sell all the jump jets. Yeah, and these guys, I know they're improved, but all right, and what else do we have? We got the combat shield we want to add into the, uh, yeah, Wolverine. So let's see here. Where are the XL engines here, man? Here they are. So we sell one. Let's just sell one, keep the other two for now. I'm sure we got other junk we can sell. But uh, let's go to engineering real quick. Let's get that next pod up and running. Yeah, 16 mech warriors, cool. 10 days, 900, oh, it's only 900,000? I thought it was 2.2 .2 million. Why was I thinking it was so much? I think it's this one that's 2.2, .2. right, 2.25. That's 760,000. I don't know why I was thinking it was so much. We gotta start upgrading our lounges and stuff too. Maybe we do this one next. And this one has got to get done too, right? Machine shop. All right. So, yeah. That wasn't too bad. We're going to leave the episode here for today. When we come back next time, I'll have probably the main lance back up and running again. Um, we've got a couple of heavier missions that we got to take here still. So, um, we're not going to take Protect the Mechs, I don't think. But um, there's a three and a half here. I want to try and take something heavier too. Uh, maybe we try our first five skull mission. Uh, if I can find one that's not against the clans, like this is against the coalition, destroy base, probably be able to do this one. So maybe we'll take this one the next time we come back. There's also a heavy lure raiding party, which is just a battle. Manufacturing facility capture base against Oregon. Yeah, so this is just, we might be able to do this one too. So we haven't done any five skull missions yet, but maybe I think where Lance is completely ready to start doing that. So I think when we come back next time, that's what we'll do. Um, and we should have our main lance up here at the top. Yeah. So what I'll do, I think, actually, you know what we should do right now? Let's see if we can get that Wolverine fixed up. The one R. Let's refit this guy. I don't know if we can get him. I don't think we have everything we need for this yet. So we lost the claws. Tag. Clan XL. Let's just start pulling things one at a time just to see if we can replace everything here. We don't have an NSS. But we do have the stealth armor. Um, and the Clan XL engine we do have. Fusion Core 240. I don't know if we have a 240 or not. We do. So 240 can go in. Um, and we had a mask. We don't really have a mask anymore. So how much did it this way? Three tons. So this is eight tons. We can, we, we're going to find an 11 ton core here. 18 and a half. Wow. 
Well, wait, it'll be less because it's going to be half the engine weight. So that's nine and a half. So I, need, I can take something really big, maybe a 300? 22, it's 11 tons. I think we can probably do that. Heavy gyro. Do we have a heavy gyro? I don't think we do. Do we have a defensive gyro? Oh, we're not even in the right area here. Gyros, spiked helmets. Defense gyro. Here we go. We definitely want this one. And let's swap out the endo steel and put in the clan endo steel. Okay. Um, AC20 ammo we need for the boomstick. We can pull the two medium lasers, and I don't think we have a tag. As some stuff that we're, we are missing is, are things like tags and stuff. So tag can come out. Claws. Do we have anything that's like a melee arm here? Lower melee. Spike fist. Melee accuracy, additional base damage, melee. Yeah, this is probably the best we could do, I think, is a spike fist. Now, we do have the leg spike boots, melee accuracy, and base melee damage. We want to add those, so let's move the heat sinking up here. Um, I think what I want to do is I want to put, I want to try something here. Actually, let's move this ammo over here. We're going to put case in here. Um, Sorry, equipment. Where's our case? Case two, I think. If we do, we can go with clan. Oh, we can't go with clan because we don't have clan armor. So we can just go with regular case two. That's fine. Heat efficiency is really good at the moment. Um, so we don't need the extra heats. So we're, sorry, we don't need the exchanger. We can pull the exchanger out. What's our heat sinking at here? Yeah, 33. Oh, right, because we have the, uh, right. Don't need that even. Guardian ECM clan gives us one defense. Um, we could put a combat shield in this guy. Reduce damage. Increases damage reduction from guarded to 50%. Minus 15% reduced damage taken for two tons. Probably a good idea. And then we have the Angel ECM. Reduce signature, reduce visibility and cover. Two tons. This is what? One and a half, right? It's one. I still think this is probably a better... Oh, this is a bigger thing too, but we can put it in the CT. That's fine. Uh, what else do we have here we can use? Right, we wanted to put the leg spike boots in. Put that in down here. Um, now the big question is, is do we want to have those medium lasers? Right, we could put the medium lasers back in. Now we don't have, there was a suggestion to put in um, pirate medium lasers to increase damage, but we don't have any pirate medium lasers because of me <coughs> selling them. <coughs> Sorry, did I say that out loud? Yeah, uh, I probably shouldn't have done that, but I did. So, I mean, the other thing too, now that I say that, we could put a medium heavy laser in. Because we're not going to be firing the necessarily the boomstick at the same time we're firing the medium heavy laser. Um, ER smalls, small heavy laser, 30 damage, 15 heat. That's actually not bad. Really short range though. The other thing is maybe we can put a couple pirate flamers in. Bad accuracy though. Clan flamers. Only got. We don't have very many. Wait, you know what we could do? Do we have anything else melee wise? Hammer fist. It's four tons. I know we wanted to get the plasma lance in here at 1.2. That's three tons, but we can't fit it, unfortunately. Spike wrecking ball is four, right? Three tons, which would fit in the arm. Now we just got to find a ton and a half. Uh, we have. Patchwork materials, which we can start with. Let's put it down the leg here. Um, 
So we just need to find one ton. I mean, maybe we don't have to go with the full... Like, I mean, we're not firing it. Like, I don't know how many times have we really gone over. Also, we do have a double heat sink kit too, right? And clan double heat sink kits. Don't need to go that right, I don't think. I think just taking the one ton of ammo is probably enough. Yeah, I think that's probably the way to go. Now, what's our melee here? Base damage, 55. Stability damage, 15. Death from above, 55. I don't know. We'll have to see when we get into combat. We've got, let's see here, 25, 50, 60... 70% more melee damage, plus this guy does plus 5, right? 5, 10, this is 5 too, right? 15 base more more base damage. That's pretty good, I think. We were hitting at 103 the last time we did this. I don't think we have better cockpits, unfortunately. We've got the pirate spiked helmet in there already. Um, lower melee... That doesn't give us anything. Yeah, I think we're pretty good here, actually. I think we're pretty good. Let's confirm this. It's nine days. So we're going to take this out next episode. We'll leave the Shadowhawk back. Take this guy out. Now, we may want to pull stuff off the Shadowhawk in the future. That's the other thing, um, is we can pull stuff off it. Let's have a look at this guy, too. Yeah, let's repair this stuff. So, we got a, another fusion core. A few things off this guy eventually. Clan Pharaoh, Clan Endo Steel. So, we don't have to choose this stuff anymore when we we're taking our thing. Well, look at this, though. What's the weight of this guy again? 25 tons? He's 20 tons. You know what? This could be our. This could be the leader of the uh, um, urban mech uh, slash... Um, wait... Sees the maximum tonnage. Oh yeah, I guess it would, wouldn't it? Um, let's just take some stuff out then. That we don't need. Like all this. Actually, just strip all the gear. Three days to fix this guy. Um, but yeah, he could he could um, be definitely be the leader of the um, two urban mechs and one cattle master that we have. Um... It should be interesting when we get those up and running. I don't know what missions we'll be able to take on those guys. If they're all going to be like melee slash machine gun slash flamer slash running bullets. I don't know. <laughs> I'll have to see what happens. Um, this guy, we're going to have to... Well, you know what? Maybe we can outfit this guy too. Uh, no, you know what? We need to, still need to pull a Phoenix Hawk out of service and stuff before we get this guy up and running. But next episode, we'll have our main lance back up and running. Let's uh, manage our tasks a bit here. And move up the Wolverine. And I think that's pretty good. So we want the that guy first. The catapult second. And then... Eesh. Yeah, it's still going to be 13 days before we're back. Um, let's do it this way. Because that way it'll still be 13 days. Um, Phoenix Hawk can probably move up. Still be 13 days. Phoenix Hawk, Shadow Hawk will be back. Oh, the Zeus needs to... Oh, right. No, that's right. The Zeus is fine here. We could probably even... No, it's not. It's actually got to be here. So we got the... So these guys finish in nine days. These two clear. This goes in. This goes in. One day later, the Phoenix Hawks goes in. And then two days after that, the Hunchback will go in. And then when we finish on 13 days... Right? Am I doing that correctly? I think so. Let's just move this guy up too, then we can put him in the, uh, put him away before the end of the month. Alright, let's do that. And we've got 19 days, right? Yeah, to financial port report. We're cool. Alright, so we're going to leave it there. If you liked the episode, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. And until next time, when we do the Five Skull Mission, I'll see you later.